Slide guitar is a great way to broaden your horizons of guitar playing. It's also a great way to add a little diversity to a jam session that has one too many guitarists. Often as guitar players, we seek to make the guitar emulate the human voice. We add microtonalities, wavering notes, and stretches into notes and away from notes, just as a human voice would. This adds expression, tension, and resolution to our playing. If you've been playing guitar for a while and would like to incorporate a little slide into your playing, here's a few tips to get you started. First thing, get a slide. Most slides come in glass, ceramic, or metal. I prefer a thick glass slide that fits my ring finger down just shy of my first knuckle. This allows me to mute the notes behind the slide and mute notes in front of the slide with my spare fingers. My recommendation is to buy a few cheap slides and try some different fingers and find what works best for you. Keep in mind with playing slide nothing is standard. People have used everything from pocket knives to ratchet sockets as slides. Slide tunings come in a lot of varieties like an open G like a dobro would be tuned or dad tuning C6 or an open E tuning or some people tune that open E down a full step to an open D tuning. The advantage of these tunings is the variety of harmonies you can achieve. The disadvantages are you have to learn whole new scale shapes and arpeggios. Minor chords also can be challenging with many of these tunings. You can use just a standard guitar tuning. This is great because you already know all your scales and arpeggios and can just play them with the slide. My most preferred tuning is drop D. Drop D has many advantages for crossover slide players. Drop D is when you detune your lowest string to a D note instead of an E note. With drop D you already know all your scale patterns. You just have to adjust for one string. With drop D you also have all your minor chords on your highest three strings. You also have all your major chords on the D, G, and B. And you also have a power chord shape on your lowest three strings. When you're just getting started, just follow the chords of the rhythm. You then can work on arpeggiating the chords, and then finally add some phrasings and licks within the chord pattern. Make sure you're using your picking hand to mute at the bridge and your free fingers behind the slide to mute any notes that you're not wanting to sound. You can also utilize a wah pedal to help add expression and hide a little bit of the excess noise. Whoa. 